this video, we're going to discuss the multiplicative principle in detail. And we're also going to go through some examples together. So let's get right to it. So the multiplicative principle states that if event A can occur in M ways, and each possibility for A allows for exactly N ways for event B, then the event A and B can occur in M times N ways. Now, this definition looks a little weird and strange, but once you go through a couple examples, you get the feel of it. So let's do one example together. In this example, we're going to count the number of license plates where the first three are letters and the last three are numbers. And the question is, how many license plates can you possibly make? How many different license plates can you make here? Well, whatever I pick for my first letter, well, the next five events here are completely independent. So this next letter doesn't depend on the, uh, the choice I made for the first letter. So it could be a C, it could be a D, it could be any of the 26 letters, it doesn't matter. And so we're making, there are six events total here, and in each event, they're independent of each other. So let's, how many ways can we pick this first letter here? Well, there are 26 ways that we can pick for the first letter. And for the next event, there are 26 ways. And so, for these first two letters right here, there are 26 times 26 ways we can make a combination of two letters. And that's true. You could do A, 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 B, A, C, A, D, A, E, A, F. And I can go through every single uh, letter in the alphabet until I get to the Bs. And then I do B, A, B, 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 C, B, D, B, E, and so on. And then I get to the Cs. And there are a lot of different combinations for two letters. But for each of these combinations, we can make 26 choices for the third letter and so forth. And so if we want to figure out how many events we can have here, well, or how many different outcomes there are with these six events, we do 26 times 26 times 26 times how many choices do we have for this fourth event here? Well, there are only 10. And then there are 10 for this one and 10 for that one because there are only 10 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And so 26 times 26 times 26 times 10 times 10 times 10 represents all of the different possible ways you can make a license plate where the first three are letters and the last three entries are numbers. All right, so... I want to be careful here. I want you to be careful. And doesn't mean times. A lot of people make this misconception when they work with problems like this. And and times are not the same thing. And multiplication, not the same thing. For example, how many playing cards are both red and a face card? Well, there are 26 red cards and 12 face cards total. However, the number of cards that are red and face cards is not just 26 times 12. The answer is six. You can't just rely on language to solve counting problems. You have to rely on your ability to organize collections. Here's another caution I want you to make. How many ways can you select two cards so that the first one is a red card and the second one is a face card? Well, this looks more like the multiplicative principle since you're counting two separate events, but the answer is not just 26 times 12. The problem is that while there are 26 ways for the first card to be selected, it is not the case that for each of those, there are 12 ways to select the second card. If the first card was both red and a face card, then there would be only 11 choices for the second card to be a face card because you already picked out a face card when you picked out that red face card uh, for the first card. 
We will discuss these more complex problems later, but it's important to understand that in this scenario, all of these six events, all these six choices that you're making, they're all independent of each other. It doesn't matter what you pick for the first letter. The second letter can be any of the 26 letters, which gives rise to many different options here. And the multiplicative principle can apply because these events are all disjoint from each other. They're independent of each other. Anyways, thanks everyone. And I'll see you in the next video.